Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a great day. If you have been paying attention to the crypto market, the last 24 hours have been a little shaky. The market has taken a really strong pullback and this was a little unexpected. And that's the reason there is so much panic and especially fear on the Twitter sphere. I do want to mention Doge is still holding quite strong, close to 11.5 cents. Now, it's not the price which is making me feel like Doge is holding strong, it's the trading volume, sitting nearly close to 1 billion, which was a lot higher than what we saw just about two weeks ago. On the other end, this was a little expected by some people as Bitcoin was going to break below once it makes it to 65-ish, break below and make it to 60k before it shows an explosive move again. Dogecoin is up 19%, Shiba is 32% in September. What will happen in October. Why Dogecoin is setting up for an explosive 1,200% jump to $1.60 and the former Chinese finance minister calls for a closer study of crypto as US is getting very close to it. Now before we get into all of this, if you guys are here for the first time, you want to stay up to date with everything to do with the crypto market and especially Dogecoin, scroll down, tap the red subscribe button and become part of the community. While you're there, slap a like on the video, just up to you to go then push the video out to more people. So more people are paying attention to what is happening in the crypto market more user engagement more inflow of cash and the market will keep climbing one thing that you should be paying attention to is you should realize that right now yes the market might be down but if you look at the seven day you realize that most of the tokens are still in green i mean don't consider bnb for now but in general you can see Dogecoin is also up about 7% even though it's down 7% today. So that should give you perspective that we're still holding very strong. Now if we talk about the specific numbers, now Doge is in a really scary state. Why a scary state? Now it's not just Dogecoin that's actually caused this, but it's actually the overall market which caused Dogecoin to also have a pullback. Now why is it in a scary state? Because the next support will be sitting close to 11.4, which we are about to test in not so long. Now once we do test this, if we do break below this, the next support will fall all the way down to 11 cents, which I'm very certain a lot of you guys do not want to see because we have spent two months nearly just trying to break over that resistance. But don't worry, this time around, it's actually going to be a support which will maybe put us into a small consolidation phase before Doge will be able to keep climbing. Now, keep in mind, October is always the best performing month for crypto. August and September is always the worst performing months and those two worst performing months have already come to an end and the best performing month has just begun. So we might be getting a little bit of a shaky start but overall you guys are going to be happy with the outcome. On the other end, Powell pumps the brakes on another jumbo rate cut this year. So the chairman said on Monday that US central bank base case is two small rate cuts through the year's end. Now keep in mind there was a lot of people which were anticipating we're going to be getting another 50 basis point cut and then another one in December. So November 1 and then December. Now clearly suggesting that let's just say we're not going to be getting some big interest rate cut at the end of this year actually cleared a little bit of air. Now you need to understand the price of Bitcoin turned lower Monday as Federal Bank indicated that the central bank policy makers aren't eager to slash the borrowing rates too much. Now why did this affect Bitcoin? I feel like a lot of people might have this question where in simple terms you need to understand the lower the interest rate is going to fall the more people are going to invest in riskier assets. So the same thing goes the other way. If the interest rate goes up, the interest rate is going to cause the Bitcoin price to slash down. So it's pretty much an opposite a direction if you think about it. It's because if people are already getting interest from normal days or normal banks, why would they want to risk their money into a riskier asset? So that should make sense. But there is going to be interest rate cuts, but it's not going to be so big. So obviously this is going to be impacting the US dollar in a positive way and Bitcoin in a negative way. But when the interest rate actually happens, even though it's going to be a small cut, it is going to be a positive impact. And seeing that October is going to be next and then we're going to get into November, we're already going to be in a very positive direction for Bitcoin. And then obviously the interest rate cut is going to be pushing it even higher. Now, this is what's expected right now. 
Bitcoin was going to climb to 66,000. There's going to be a little bit of consolidation and then spike all the way down to 56 before it's going to go explosive again. Now, this was such a good expectation. That would mean 57,000 low will be on the 6th of October because the last three lows were on the 5th of July, 5th of August and the 6th of September. Now, if that does happen on 6th of October, if we see Bitcoin fall all the way down to 57K, that would be a really good guess. That's how I would expect on it. Now, Dogecoin is up 19%. Shiba Inu is up 32%. What will happen in October? Now, there's a lot of people which are anticipating that Elon will be playing a very critical role when it comes to how well Dogecoin is going to do in October. Also, a lot of people are trying to get, you know, SpaceX Doge One mission more information. The amount of comments that I have seen on Twitter, people talking about Doge One mission is kind of impressive because we are in a bull market. If we're able to get that to be a, one of the catalysts to push up the market, it's going to be a very good deal. Why Dogecoin is setting up for a 1200% increase. Dogecoin technicals flip the bullish. So monthly chart shows early signs of a breakout to a falling wedgie, which kicks off the start of the Doge season. The pattern is almost the same as the last two cycles. This could send Doge to a dollar sixty. Now you need to understand. Yes, previously, every single time Doge has shown very good signs. Now, I am very optimistic about the crypto market, but one thing that you should be paying attention to is the circulating supply for Doge to cross. Now, just so you know, just to cross a dollar, it would need 150 billion in market cap, which means it would be the third largest token in the world. Now, for that to happen, it would be a little bit unlikely. And that's the only reason I'm saying you should be a little cautious. Now, on the other end, the open interest has dropped another 10% today. It's fallen short to 600 million, but it is still holding strong close to 550. Now, Elon Musk dismisses a link to Dogecoin Foundation and everyone is confused. Neither Jared nor me nor anyone I know anything to do with this foundation. Now, this is this was a post that was made a couple of months ago. But why is this important? Is you need to understand when Elon was able to set himself free from the case that he is manipulating the Dogecoin market. Well, now he's actually going ahead and doing a little bit more, but he's definitely not impacting it as much as he did in 2021, which is causing a lot of people to be a little bit skeptical. That's the right word. Now, Dogecoin has survived the courage in 2022 better than most of the cryptocurrencies. So right now, honestly, it is going to be the best performing one when the market starts climbing. And Bitcoin October rally hopes in high emit volatility. Now, the volatile market is good, but October is still going to push up the Bitcoin prize. Other than that, just be a little patient. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop a like on it and I'll see you soon.